Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guns and Guitars, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual because uh, life is changing and it's affecting the way that I can create content over the next year, and it's an adventure, and I just wanted to bring you guys in on the adventure. Uh, some of you guys have probably already noticed that my content has changed pretty dramatically over the last couple months, so I'll clue you in as to why and what's going on in the future for us. So I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, let's get started. So a little bit of backstory, if you're new to the channel. Uh, when I started this channel about five years ago, I lived in a house, I had a home studio for doing gear demos, I had a workshop for doing uh, DIY tutorials and guitar building and stuff like that. And then three years ago, uh, my wife and I, we just felt like the Lord put it on our heart to sell everything that we own, buy an RV and live and travel full time on the road and go do fun experiences for our kids, see all the friends and family that we wouldn't normally make a specific trip to go visit. And it's just been amazing. God has blessed us in incredible ways. And he's continued to bless the channel uh, despite the challenges that go along with trying to do a channel like this uh, out of an RV while traveling right? And so we've been doing that for almost three years now, and it's just been an incredible journey. And now the Lord is leading us to something new. And so the first thing that you probably noticed over the last couple of months is that I've been investing in some bigger, badder equipment for guitar building and manufacturing. Equipment that's not necessarily practical to store inside of a motorhome and travel along with. And so while we are still currently living in our motorhome, we are doing so more stationary. And so that's probably the second thing that you notice is I typically show off where I'm at when I'm building guitars and product reviews and stuff like that because it's fun and exciting to see, you know, if I'm close to your guys' hometown or whatever. And so uh, lately you haven't seen any of that because again, we've been stationary. Obviously I don't need to talk about every single factor that's influenced this decision. You know, obviously the cost of travel and the cost of fuel has had a pretty dramatic impact. But really more importantly, we feel like the Lord is calling us back into a tight, consistent community that um, our kids can grow up with consistent friendships and relationships and to be a part of a local church and uh, serve and worship the Lord in a consistent community as well. So part of the journey traveling the U.S. over the last three years has been, you know, where do we want to settle back down? Um, and out of all the places that we visited, you know, we visited a lot of really cool places. We met a lot of really cool people, but the place that we think is the coolest and has the coolest people is right back here in Northern Arizona where we started. So we started searching around for a home in the area and, uh, you know, I'm gonna give you the real Cliff's Notes version of this. The housing market is just crazy right now and we can't even afford to buy the home that we sold a few years ago. Uh, to do this lifestyle. So we were just very disheartened by that. And the Lord uh, opened up an opportunity where we never would have expected. Recently, one of our good friends became a manufactured home contractor, and he actually offered to get us into a brand new manufactured home at his cost, which is crazy because he's saying no to a lot of money. And it's really just opened up a door because we could not afford a house without this option on the table. And so he's getting us into a home for way below what it's going to be valued at when it's done. And so it's just a huge blessing from the Lord. And so I'm happy to say that we found an acre of land outside of town that we absolutely fell in love with. And we just closed escrow on it a couple weeks ago. So now we get to start the exciting construction phase and getting the land prepped and ready for the manufactured home. Uh, but there's a lot more cool things about this property than just the fact that we can put a home on it. And it is really going to change how I'm able to craft content over the next year. And it's very exciting. And I wanna bring you guys along on the journey. So let's go out to the property now so I can show you what's going on. Here we are. Isn't that just beautiful? Sorry about the wind, nothing I can do about that today. But more importantly, check out this view. Where I'm standing is gonna be the front view out of our home. Right along this fence line over here, that is 640 acres of state trust land. So on this side of our property, we should probably never have any neighbors. So our property goes just to the end of this easement right here on the other side of that shed, which we'll talk about in a second. And then just up here on the other side of where we are parked in this driveway, this is gonna be where the front of the house is. And then the property came with a water storage tank for our well, which we'll talk about in a minute, and these two large sheds. They are 10 by 12 feet a piece. And this is what really stood out 
about this property that really made us fall in love, aside from the location and the view and all that. So this big red shed here, like I said, is a 10 by 12 foot, which is roughly the same square footage as my original workshop went back when we had a house to begin with. And so we've decided that this is going to be my new guitar workshop, and I'm very excited. It's plenty of space, plus there's this loft up here for additional storage, plus it's so tall that I have plenty of room to go up for storing tools and inventory and stuff like this. So this is gonna be my new guitar workshop. I'm super excited about it. And then this brown shed here, like I said, it's the same interior dimensions as the other shed, except for quite a bit lower ceilings. And we had tossed around a few different ideas of what to do with this. We had thought about maybe making this a homeschool room because that's one thing that we learned when we were on the road is we started homeschooling our kids and man, their education is flourishing more than it ever has before. And so we're gonna keep with the homeschool thing. But I think we actually decided collectively that this would actually make a good filming studio for doing my product reviews and recording and stuff like that, which I'm very excited. Obviously needs a lot of work. Uh, the previous owners, I think, had it in mind to do like an off-grid cabin sort of thing in here. So there's lots of like, plumbing fixtures and like a bed frame and futon and stuff. So um, yeah, it's gonna need, you know, a lot of work, some ins insulation and, uh, you know, decoration, whatever, but very exciting. So definitely a, a good positive step in the right direction for the channel. And another cool thing about this property is we are outside of city limits here. We are out in the countryside, which means it would actually be legal for me to potentially set up a pistol shooting range here on my property. And this is an excellent spot for it. Like I said, this is uh, 640 acres of state trust land, so no one's ever gonna be over there. So I could set up my targets, have a nice backstop right there. Uh, the only thing is uh, I need to get permission from any neighbors that are within a quarter mile from here. So if you guys wouldn't mind praying that the neighbors are cool with it and we can figure that out because that would be really awesome if I am able to film gun content here on my property. It would really increase my productivity and I'd be able to make more and better content. So the last thing that I want to show you on this property and really the whole reason why I'm making this video is I need your guys' help. Now don't worry, I'm not asking for financial support or a GoFundMe or anything like that that. Uh, like I said, we already closed escrow on the property and we've already signed documents for the construction loan. But uh, the issue is that um, an FHA loan will not lend on a home with hauled water supply. Okay. We're, like I said, we're not in the city, we're out in the country, so there's no city water hookups. So our only option is to drill a well. So this area, unfortunately, is not necessarily known for producing really good wells. Um, but we had some water research done. The water drillers and a water witcher both agreed that if we're going to hit water on this property, it's going to be this spot right here that's spray painted blue. So that is where we are going to try to drill a well. And we need that well to produce in order to keep our construction loan. Uh, if that well comes up dry, we're going to be in a tough spot because we're going to have to figure out uh, what to do from there without the FHA loan. So that's where I need your guys' help. I need your guys' prayers. Now, if you guys don't believe in God or if you don't pray, um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments of sending positive thoughts your way. Um, that's great. But honestly, if you don't believe in God and you don't pray, I'm just going to ask this of you. Try it out. Just try praying on my behalf, and while you're at it, try praying for some things in your own life and just see what the Lord does in your life and see if he opens up anything to you or reveals anything to you in this process. But like I said, we need water in order to go through with the whole construction process and keep this property. So when you guys are praying, if you wouldn't mind just adding a quick prayer for us to find water on this property, we would super appreciate it. Now, obviously the first stage is gonna be drilling the well because if the well doesn't produce, we can't do anything else. But even still, it's probably gonna be six to eight months or maybe even a year before we can get this manufactured home planted and ready to live in. So that means over the next few months, content is still gonna be a little bit different. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you. So let's go back to where we are currently parked and I'll tell you a little bit more about content coming up. So for now, we are still just parked on the side of my father-in-law's house that was supposed to be very temporary while we found a place to live. Um, and obviously that's gonna be stretched out for quite a few more months. So I had temporarily set up a workshop underneath this pergola. Uh, which worked out great for a very temporary solution. But since uh, we're gonna be here a little longer than we anticipated, we need something a little more long-term. 
mostly because it's just not fair to my father-in-law. I know he wants this area to be, you know, a hangout spot, not a workshop. So I think for the next six months or so, we're gonna set up a more permanent temporary workshop behind my motorhome. So be looking out for that in the coming months. Now it's been really awesome over the last few years living and traveling in a motorhome. It's really forced some creative solutions for how I can create content, how I can continue building guitars from the road. And hopefully I've been an inspiration to those of you that have less than ideal circumstances. You've heard me say time and time again, you don't let your circumstances define what you are capable of. And so hopefully you guys have seen that. Now my circumstances are changing. So you guys get to follow me on this journey as I transition back from full-time RV living to stationary living. And I'm gonna bring you along on the journey of building my own custom guitar brand. It was something that I wanted to do before we hit the road. And once we hit the road, obviously I had to put that on hold. And so now that I'm stationary again, I get to invest in that. So be looking for more prototypes that I'm working on. Maybe some videos about building your own custom brand, about building your own workshop. And of course, because it's me, how to do it all on a budget. So I'm really excited for what this next year has in store for us. Again, please pray that we find water on our property. And until next time, I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and I'll see you in the next video.